Hi there, Rene Rubacaba with Odonet, and today I want to go over how you can modify the CSS for your ArcGIS JavaScript application. And if you might want to do that, if you want to the application to kind of match the theme of your website or maybe other portions of your application, so everything kind of fits in nice together, um, it's not that difficult to do. And actually, if you look at some of the API documentation, there are a few places in the uh, digit libraries for the API that they kind of give you a CSS section with some uh, CSS names that you can go ahead and modify and they give you an idea of what uh, they're used for. And you can play with those all you want to do stuff. Uh, another way to do it is to use something like the Chrome Developer Tools. And what you can do here is let's say that we wanted to modify the pop-up for application to kind of match the map itself. So what we can do here is uh, right click on the pop-up and go to inspect element and it's going to take us to the elements tab for our uh, application here for the page and as you hover over DOM elements they get highlighted on the actual web app itself. So if we click on content pane here you'll see that we've got a uh, background color that's already in place. So if we modify this background color here and we kind of hover over this uh, color palette, we can get kind of close to what the back, the lightest background is shown on the map. Or it, while the color palette's open, if you mouse over the web page, uh, you'll get a little cursor that'll go pixel by pixel and you can select the color right off of the map. So we can go and pick a color out over here and we get kind of close. Or a nice way to do it too is come directly over to the legend and pick out the color there. As you can see it's already modified itself to match legend over here. And I like doing that because we've got this map overlaying a, a topo right now. So the colors aren't going to be exact. It's transparent and it's going to be picking up colors from the uh, base map itself. So we can do that and now what you can do is you can go ahead and copy paste uh, this background color section here. And let me turn off auto run JS real quick. And rerun that. And that was actually going to be the Esri pop-up, and it was dot content pane, and we got the background color going there. And run with JS. Now, if I were to uh, click on the map, get the pop-up again, and you see a pop-up color uh, stayed in here. Now, as you're playing around with this, you may notice that. Um, even if you didn't save the CSS, while you're in the same session in your Chrome Developer Tools, it's probably going to uh, keep the actual background color that you've saved in here uh, earlier. You see it crossed out a color here, but that's what we were testing with. Uh, and that's just the way the Chrome Developer Tools uh, work um, while you're testing on your page. So I also want to modify this uh, little dark gray portion of the title bar uh, on the pop-up here. So I'll click on that and I'll get the title pane. The title pane is a background color. And it's going to modify that to match the darkest color of uh, the counties on the map. And now what I can do is I can take this, just copy the whole thing here. And I'll take everything off that um, is not stuff I want to modify. Now if I run this again, and I wait for this to load and click on the map, you can see the title pane now matches the darkest color uh, in my legend. So you can do that for just about anything in your map. Uh, if I also wanted to play with this, uh, the county names, and I want to uh, italicize them as well, so I can go to font style, and pick italic from the map. Again, let's just copy this over here and we'll take off the bold since we want to just modify the italics and that'll stay with us as we're working. So that's kind of cool. You, you can really kind of experiment and test uh, all you want before you're committed to pushing this out in your application and having to reload the web page every time you're doing stuff. It's a nice way of being able to test out the CSS styles for your application. And if you're brave, you can also kind of play around with the base maps. So we've got this nice topo base map here. 
And if I right click on this and inspect the element, uh, let's see, if you, it's going to be map layer zero is going to be the base maps. And if you come down here, it's just a div that's got a bunch of images attached to it. So we can do some stuff with that. So let's come to uh, map layer zero. And let's do, if I remember correctly, is WebKit filter. And I want to invert. And I believe it is one. And there you go. We just inverted the topo base map for application, which gives us this very uh, cool kind of color scheme going on now. Let me zoom out. You can zoom in. And you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with that. So again, uh, don't be afraid to play around with your applications and play around with the styles a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do, you can experiment with, and when you're comfortable with it, um, just make sure you copy whatever um, changes you actually made to your application in the Chrome Developer Tools, save it to your style sheet, and that's something you can publish with. So I hope you learned something. Thank you.